us ho 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 thank you for watching us at gotta stars culinary this is our second episode of the bull kitchen yeah and of course you can catch us at www.silviareynosogala.com we're also at facebook at gala stars culinary and Sylvia Reynoso Gala Culinary. And we also have Twitter and Instagram. So, Chef Paris, what recipe are we going to select today for the holiday season? Choose one. Come on. Which one do you like? Which one? It looks like you're focused on this one. Yeah? This one? This recipe? Okay. Which one is it? Oh, beautiful. White fruit cake. Mmm, sarap yan. So, Chef Paris, you have selected white fruit cake. Excellent choice. Napakasarap talaga. Very delicious recipe. So, what's the first thing we're going to do, Chef? We're going to wash our hands. Okay? So, because it's very important that we're clean. Okay? And in the full kitchen, we're always after safety. All right, so chef, we're going to add our butter. So we have one fourth cup butter, softened butter. When you say soft butter, soft but not melted. Okay, and we have also one fourth cup all-purpose flour. Okay. Just like that, get as much as we can. Okay, sarap, sarap to chef. Then, you can use a scraper, a whisk, or to make your life easy, we're going to use the hand mixer. So, simply put it down, speed number one, just like that. The chef, so, when we're mixing, one direction lang tayo, chef. Okay? Para maganda siya. So, it's very nice. Alright? Okay. Until it's almost one color. Wow, you can smell that, no? It's, it's already delicious. Yeah. Okay. And then just a little bit more mixing. And then when, when you see no more flour, okay na siya. Alright. Then we will simply get our pan. This is our bun pan. And we will add our flour butter mixture you can use flour for extra flavor you can also use margarine okay now this will give an extra flavor and a nice golden color when we make our fruit cake okay and we will simply just press our mixture to the center and the sides of our one pan just like that just like that chef nice easy strokes Okay, the side motion and upward motion, just like that. Yeah, the bum sarap, 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 sarap. She can taste it. She loves this. And the nice thing about this recipe is anyone can eat it, even dogs. Yes, it's very safe. There's no chocolate, so very masarap. And she loves this recipe. That's why he chose it now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Now. After brushing, okay, we will set this aside and we will get our red and green cherries, okay? So this gives a nice Christmas color to our white fruit cake. So alternately, so we have green, red, green, red, you know, just like that. So you got a nice Christmas feel to it. Yan, like that, no? Like that, sarap yan, very delicious. Okay, just all over. You like it so much, okay? You know you want this? There you go. Very good, galeng. Nice catch. Good chef. Good job. Okay, then we set this aside, and we're going to get our bowl, our metal bowl. Okay, we're going to be using a kitchen aid, but you can always use a hand mixer or mix it manually with a wooden spoon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our butter. So we have one cup butter. Okay, one package is equal to one cup, and we are using Magnolia Gold. Okay, 
and scrape a little bit. Yeah, because we love butter, chef. So, sarap yan. Okay. Then, we add our other ingredients. We have here our sugar. Okay. So, we add all of our sugar. Okay. Then, we also add our eggs. We have three eggs. Add one tablespoon baking powder. Okay. We also add one fourth cup orange juice. Okay, we also add our water. Okay, half cup water. All right, and our all-purpose flour. Mmm, sarap, no? Yeah, she loves this recipe. Now, we're simply going to transfer our metal bowl into our kitchen. Okay, so speed number one. Like that, very nice. Okay, and then once it's getting uh, mixed well, slowly slide it to speed number two. Okay, it's that easy. By the way, you don't need to sift your flour because all flour is pre-sifted already. Therefore, not like before, you have to sift three or four times. Since this is a butter-based cake or recipe, you don't have to sift your flour anymore. Okay. It's already good quality. Now, once it's mixing well, mix another at a higher speed. Speed number four, and then speed number six. And we wait for about one minute. Okay, and after one minute, chef, it is done already. Now, here's just a little bit fact about the fruit cake. Fruit cake was actually a wedding cake during the 17th century. It was a cake that was always preserved. That's why uh, people would put brandy on their cake so that it will last long. At the time, there was no refrigerator available. So they would put brandy, store it in an area, and keep it for a good number of years. Now, we're making a white fruit cake, but if you want to make a more traditional dark fruit cake, all you need to do is you just have to add some molasses to give it a darker color. Alright? Now once it's mixed well, we turn it off, Chef. We turn the speed to zero. And we will slowly add our mixed glazed fruits. This is the stuff that makes it a fruit cake. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't get excited. Okay. So we're just gonna add it first. We're gonna put it in our fruit cake. Okay, relax. Malapit na yan. Almost done. Okay, so we just simply add everything. Now the KitchenAid, it's very powerful, so you can add it all at once. But if you're doing this using a hand mixer, or if you're doing it manually, add it slowly. Add a few, uh, few pieces, and then mix about three to four rounds before adding the next um, batch. Okay, so just like that, Chef. Yeah, I know, I know. It's good. It, I know it's really good, okay? So we add all of that, okay? Yeah. And then, we go back to speed number one, okay? So we're only speed number one because we don't want to crush our fruit, our mixed glazed fruits. Okay, so just like that. Mm. Now, Chef, what we're going to do is we're going to remove our fruit cake mixture from the KitchenAid bowl. Whoa, whoa, not too close, not too close. Just wait, they have to try it also, okay? Now we're going to get our scraper, okay? And we will simply scrape all that nice mixture, okay? We get as much as we can so that we get the maximum of this fruit cake mixture. Yes, okay. Yeah, all right, don't worry. I'll give you a share. I'll give you a share. Okay, I will try this too because I love this recipe. My family loves this recipe also. We always have this during our Christmas parties. Okay, then once we scrape it, here is our bun pan with butter and flour. And of course, we added our, our very nice red and green cherries. And so we will scrape as much as we can. Look at that, okay? And we're going to just 
transfer it into our bun pan. Now, you can also put this in a loaf pan if you like. Two loaf pans actually. So you have two white fruit cakes. So we get as much as we can and just pour all of that. Yan, sarap. Okay. So after transferring our fruit cake mixture, we will now shape it. Okay, and Chef, what we're going to do is we're going to flatten it out. So just like that. Nice and smooth. Para it's very much. Oh yeah, you like that stuff. Okay. So Oh, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. We're almost done. We're almost done. So we're shaping it. Nice small strokes like you're painting. Okay, because if you press it, it won't get even or it won't spread evenly. Once you flatten and shape our fruit cake, we will now bring it to our oven. Okay, so we're going to put it inside our oven. Ooh, just like that. Okay. Now, we preheated our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. 350 degrees Fahrenheit or if you're using a European oven, 175 degrees centigrade. It takes 15 to 20 minutes for your oven to warm up or what they call preheat. So that's it. And here we are after 1 hour and 45 minutes, I think it's done. Alright, so I'm just going to put my pot holder and check it. other one and we're going to get our spoon just to make sure to check okay and wow it looks great okay beautiful all right check it out it springs back like a sponge okay there's no more resistance I mean there's no more it doesn't fall in and anything like that so it's perfect all right let me get this out Okay, so after 20 minutes of letting it cool, because if we cut it while it's hot, it will fall apart. So we let it cool for about 20 minutes, and now we can loosen out the sides of our white fruit cake. Just all the way, just the sides, just tap it a little bit, just like that. Okay. And then, we're going to get our plate, okay, and we're going to flip the whole thing, just like that, okay, give it a little tap, and it should come out just like that, wow, excellent, it's that easy, that easy, alright, and now, of course, we have our slicer and we're going to divide one for you one for mm -hmm. me okay get this one for you and that's it okay so now comes the best part the eating part yeah and so thank you very much for watching The Bull Kitchen. Watch for more episodes at Silvia Reynoso Gala Culinary at our Facebook fan page or Gala Stars Culinary also at our Facebook fan page. And you can also see our schedules and recipes at www.silviareynosogala.com. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. This is Chef Ernst and Chef Paris signing off and see you for more Bull Kitchen. Fun recipe! Bye-bye!